I've done quite a bit of my, or most of my ferns already, but this is an example of a Japanese tassel fern that I haven't cut back yet. And I'm going to show you in a moment how I'm going to cut it back. But I just want to show you some of the ferns that I've already cut back to say, yes, you know, I really am meaning that even though they're evergreen and that they're probably still looking pretty good, you do want to uh, cut them, cut them back. So uh, let me show you a couple. So this is the one we're going to come back to in just a moment. And I'm going to, so there's, it's before. So let's pause here. All right. And here's that same fern, exact same fern that is been, that has been uh, cut back all the way. And you can see the fronds still very tight around the crown. And by cutting that foliage away, we're going to be able to see and appreciate the new fronds, with fronds unfurling, which is really pretty. Um, and then it just means that the plant will just be fresh and new all year. Uh, all year. And here's the foliage that we removed. And you can see some of it's still looking pretty darn good. So it can be a little confusing, right? Do I cut it? Do I not cut it? But you do because, you know, damaged foliage like that would otherwise remain there all year all year um, round and just kind of mar the look. Okay, here's an example of a heart's tongue fern that I have not cut back yet. So again, it's another evergreen fern and it can be a little confusing because, you know, there's really no apparent reason that I would cut that back. Uh, because, you know, it's evergreen, the foliage is there, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how I'm going to groom this one. And I'm doing that even though uh, right this moment, it may look like it doesn't need it. Um, but my goal on these ferns is to uh, just make sure that they uh, remain young and look good and are handsome uh, year round. And this is going to give us a little bit of clue down there. I'm going to show you, and it's going to be a little bit more evident when I actually get in there and cut it back. But see that new growth kind of pushing from the base? That's the plant telling me that it's okay, that it's okay if I cut it back. So I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to go ahead and cut it back, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, same fern, same spot and after I've cut it back. So you can see uh, the, the fronds kind of still tucked at the base, um, but that's also an example of why it's really important to do it early because once those fronds start unfurling, it's really hard to uh, you know, cut away last year's foliage without accidentally cutting away some of the new growth. So really is all about timing. There are a few fern or fern-like plants that can be a little confusing. So this is an example of one. It is a fern, um, but it's just a little note of caution that uh, some ferns don't want the treatment that we just described, and this is one of them. So if you have a fern that you feel like might be not the usual, a little bit more of a collectory plant. Um, it does make sense to kind of slow down and just be sure. And I say that um, from experience. <laughs> this uh, fern is only just now kind of getting established in my garden because I had a real rough start. Um, I had somebody helping in my garden uh, several years ago and they, we were cutting back ferns and they inadvertently cut this one back. Um, and then it just sat there for a long time and um, thought it was a goner, but it did uh, create new foliage ultimately. Um, so now I will have to figure out how to groom this one so it looks good. Uh, so it's going to be somewhere in between where I'm going to cut off some of the old foliage that is damaged 
um, has been on the plant for several years. Maybe it's gotten torn. Um, but I'm going to wait and I'll kind of do it on a, uh, uh, a picky <laughs> basis. Um, and I'm going to wait until I see signs of new growth, uh, active new growth on this one before I do anything. So I know that that can be a little confusing as a, uh, as a caution, um, because at first glance, this looks a lot like that heart's tongue fern. Um, but there is a difference and the difference is, uh, one, I know the name of it and it's not of that same genus, but even if you're just looking at it for visual clues, this one is just not pushing as much from the base. I'm seeing some evidence, but it's just not much. And so I'm going to wait. And that's a little bit just based on past experience.